Christopher Doliak as Cook County Democratic Chairman. This follows the Central Committee's endorsement of Walter Mondale for President. John Davis reports. The mayor says a Fedoliak-led Central Committee endorsement of Walter Mondale yesterday was nothing more than an attempt by Fedoliak to bolster his own sagging position within the Cook County Democratic Party. Obviously, Mr. Fedoliak is trying to redeem himself and hide behind the color of Mr. Mondale's reputation to shore up his local base. He can't do it. I would, I would estimate that at least half of the Democratic Party voters in this city are totally and completely dissatisfied with Mr. Fedoliak. What he's done is just held up in very sharp relief the fact that he has disintegrated the Democratic Party in the city, so it's a definite slap in the face. The mayor once again called for the ouster of Vodoliak as party chairman for what Washington called Vodoliak's lack of leadership. We want leadership that's loyal to the Democratic Party principles. We don't have it. So there's no point in people putting their votes and their support behind a leader who is disloyal to their own principles. And if they can't get rid of them, then perhaps we should search elsewhere. Washington's remarks came during a tour of the 49th Ward on Chicago's north side. The mayor visited a park where he was presented a t-shirt for his inspiration to children. Well, look at that, Madoya. <laughs> The neighborhood tour also took the mayor to the Howard Street. The 9 o'clock news with Denise Cannon, Rick Rosenthal, and the WGN News team. Good evening. Rain did put a damper on things, even cancel some of the Memorial Day celebrations around Chicago today. But the wet weather did not stop memorial services downtown, where Mayor Harold Washington promised a new monument to honor Chicagoans who died in the Vietnam War. Muriel Clare reports. In Chicago, Memorial Day was a time for healing old wounds, paying tribute to the 58,000 Americans who died in the Vietnam War and honoring those who survived it. These men and women did not die in vain. That is why we must now turn our attention to the Vietnam War, because we have been unable, as a country, to come to terms with this most recent loss, the loss of those who mourn here. Washington promised to establish a monument to honor the 1,039 Chicagoans who died in the Vietnam War, and the crowd applauded him when he made light of any criticism that might come his way because of his support for the Vietnam veterans. ...why some Northside parents are upset about a Chicago Park District regulation. ...cities Northside tonight are protesting a new Chicago Park District regulation. That regulation bars official competition between sports teams at district playgrounds and district parks. Today, they called on the park district to reconsider that rule. What do we want? Playgrounds! What do we want? Playgrounds! The youngsters from the Kiwanis playground on the far north side feel that they have been cut off from being able to participate in competitive recreational activities. This Chicago Park District playground boasts one of the best basketball teams for its size in the city. And in the winter, when they can't play outside, they want to be able to continue inside competing against park district teams. The volunteers who are protesting today say that the problem is simple. The youngsters who play here at Kiwanis, which is a playground, are not allowed to compete against other youngsters who play in parks. And they say that this prohibits these youngsters from getting that competitive edge they need to improve. This is called a playground, okay? Something like 1,500 kids come through this playground. Um, we want the park administration to either rescind that new policy for one or redesignate this playground a park. And we're not going to stop until we get a serious answer from them. If playgrounds must play against other playgrounds, we only have one other playground in this area that has an organized team, and that's Passion Park. So they'll be playing the same park playground over and over again. Um, that's a problem. But park district officials say that youngsters from Kiwanis and other playgrounds can, in fact, compete at park district facilities merely by joining programs that are already in progress. And officials say they plan to increase the programs and the competition between playgrounds in such areas as field hockey, soccer, softball, basketball, and many other areas. And park district officials point to the league play now going on in the gyms and in other regulated supervised programs now underway. They say youngsters who belong to playground teams are welcome to join activities at any time. Oh. Phil Walters, Channel 2 News.
No specific mention of the Vietnam War was made here as the mayor was also appealing for unity among the many Vietnam veterans groups and for continuing to Chicago area. Here at the Daily Center Plaza, Mayor Washington held a ceremony in resem remembrance of Chicago servicemen who made the ultimate sacrifice. Civil rights at home.